Plank, a walk-on who rose to be a special teams captain in 1995, felt he needed an edge. Well, I was short and slow, so I was looking for every advantage that I could find on the field. So in 1996, Plank bought lingerie material and made it into athletic undershirts, and the company Under Armour was born. Versus them! We must protect this house! Will you protect this house? I will! Well, we had done a great deal of research, and by about 1995, we really had learned some fundamental aspects of what compression did. And we knew that it, number one, helped in the proprioceptive ability of the body to know where it is in space, called kinesthetic sense. After that, we also knew that it allowed for less muscle movement and allowed the body to in take impact so that you didn't have as much muscle damage. It, it, would, it would keep the muscle together. We also found out that it felt great. Athletes and individuals who wore compressive garments really liked the way it felt, and that was really important too, because if a garment doesn't feel good, you're not gonna wear it. So this was very important. And then we looked at the fact that it provided for improved power endurance. From the repetitive nature of most sports, you wanna maintain yourself. So this particular study we did demonstrated that it actually enhanced power endurance and the ability to jump repetitively much more effectively. And that was really the hallmark of the different studies we did up to about 1995. Well, I believe I met uh, the good Mr. Plank somewhere around 1995. Kevin took some basic information from listening to talks and seeing our work and then applied it to a much bigger realm and made a whole industry. Kevin has a really, uh, uh, an astute interest in the science of what's going on and he also understands uh, what he knows and doesn't know and I think he's a great innovator of trying to take advantage of available science and put it into practice. Education is very important from the standpoint of proprioception, enhancement of, of, of which will enhance maybe repetitive power. Uh, reduce the amount of damage, keep really and, and potentially help recovery if worn at the proper time point. So again, I think we got a lot to learn. We know a lot more than we did since 1989 in the mid-90s, but basically we also have to educate people to bring them up to speed so that we all are on the same page as we move forward with advanced garment construction.